My husband and I moved to uh, Oxford 22 years ago, and he was, he was still employed in Philadelphia, so I was here alone a lot. And so I wandered into the building and tried to figure out what was going on here. And then it kept on going that I came more and more often. He often asked me if I was going to move my blow up mattress down here <laughs> because I spent so much time here. But it was, it just was the place that I could meet people in Oxford that I could not meet because I do not live downtown Oxford. I live in the suburbs of Oxford. That's outside of the town. The zip code. And uh, so I didn't, I didn't have a chance to meet people, but here I could. But my children were the, one of the first classes of the Oxford Kids Camp. So that, I got to know Jennifer Stanley then, and this place was just starting to take off, and we even have our names out there on the steps of contributing to helping get this building up and going. Well, so. I retired sure. in 2016 from being the head of the lower school at the country school, where I had done that for 25 years, and I taught prior to that, I taught there for four years in second grade. So um, I guess you would say I was a bit of a mark. <laughs> the community went, ooh, Susie's available now. <laughs> so I was approached asking if I would be interested in coming on board uh, here at the Oxford Community Center. And I always knew I'd enjoyed TAP and all of the other wonderful programs that were here. So I said, sure, let me think about it. And they said, think hard. And I said, okay. So I did, and I joined subcommittees and program committees and stuff. And I realized this place is really fun, thriving, and a delightful group of people. When that I moving from Philadelphia, I didn't know anyone. And we were out to dinner one night, and we met people who had moved here from Philadelphia maybe five years before we did. And the lady said, I have the perfect place for you to get active in. And she ex asked me to if I would like to be on the board here. And I said, yes. Um, well, I like the fact that it is such, we offer such a variety of opportunities mm. for this community, not just Oxford, but the community, to get involved in all different ways. And, and young, old, medium, and um, all sorts of flavors and tastes and excitement and serious. I mean, we have every range, and I love that. I love the fact that we try to fulfill all the slots that might be of interest to the local community. Mm -hmm. yes. Back in the dark yeah. ages, when I first started here, we would do, well, let's try this. And, oh, that didn't work. We won't do that again. Oh, let's try this, and it would work. And we'd get it better the next year, and, and maybe five years down the road, even better. So yeah. Yeah. It, that was the, the challenge continuing to build, build, uh, that's what we would like to do, is continue Absolutely. to build the place and interest people to come in who haven't yep. been here before. Yes, yeah, so. this is not an inexpensive place to run. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we try mm -hmm. to keep the quality of our shows high, but maintain a level of admission that people can afford and, yeah. and want to be able to come see. So that's, that's always a challenge. It's, mm -hmm. it's amazing how supportive this little town is not only by coming here, but also financially supportive, because I think they see what a positive place this is. And so we hope that we can continue Absolutely. making it happen. Yeah.